morning it's 6 24 in the morning and i just went out to go water my plants there's an extremely aesthetic video that i took of that so in the background i've kind of been working on a interesting project it's something i've never done before i'm working on a bikini the one bikini i have which isn't crochet is like a little bit too small on me and i don't really like that so i thought well why not just crochet one so if you don't already follow me on instagram you should probably go do that that's where most of the action happens all tester calls stuff like that but yeah i'm just gonna wake up a little bit and we'll start the designing process a little later see you then myself an iced earl gray here's the yarn that i'm going to be using it is the karen blossom cakes that i'm obsessed with it is a weight for 61 percent cotton 39 percent acrylic yarn and it is just in this absolutely lovely color the design idea is pretty simple i want to make a bikini i want to use the regular type of cups that are used when you're making like crop tops and stuff they're like little triangles and so I'm just going to start with a chain and I'm going to be using a size 3, a US size 3 millimeter hook. If I'm not mistaken, I think that this part needs to be to start under and then go up to mid breast. I'll do 18 chains and I'll make a 19th chain as the turning chain and then into the second chain from the hook, just a single crochet and then crochet into each all the way down. I think that's good. So I've reached the other side and I'm going to chain one and then start working down the other side of that chain. And I'm just weaving in the end as I go so that I don't have to weave it in later. And so this is the right side facing. This is the first row. and every row will just kind of follow that pattern uneven numbered rows will be right side facing even numbered rows will be wrong side facing i think i will just mark the front of my work with a stitch marker so that i remember which side is which the end of the row i'm gonna chain one and then work all the way back up in the chain at the top here that I'm going to start marking with a stitch marker, I'm going to single crochet one, chain one, and single crochet again, and then go back down the other side, and then turning chain, and you're just going to repeat that if you're following along. Got the first cup done, uh, and so I made it the width of my boob, basically. Um, the width of my boob is about seven inches. This measures six inches and I measure seven inches, but I'm leaving an inch of like wiggle room because I want to add um, the lotus stitch on the edges. Look at how beautiful this has worked up. Like there's a little bit of orange on the sides and I, I love it. Because this is a variegated yarn, I want to make sure that I get the same sort of colors in. So I'm, I'm just going to like wind some of it up and find where this color is again. This is it. Ah, mini Karen cake. And then I'll just weave up a little ball of the color that I like. Mm -hmm. 
So I did a little more than what I needed, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to weave in any ends. So this is going to be, the inside of it is going to be the second cup. I might as well just do the rest of the ball. Oh, it's so pretty. So already the cups are looking a little bit different, even though I did try to find similar colors. But I'm actually not mad at that because I think they both look really, really pretty. So there's the first one I made and then the second one I made, which is turning out a little bit more orange. But I kind of really like that. And I mean, it's not going to look that weird together because it is still in the same like similar color palette. I think that's gonna look cute. So I think I just need to do like four more rows and then I'll fasten it off. And then I'm gonna start on the band, which will also be the ties for the top the bikini top. Boobies. I think I want like four chains in between so that I have room to put the shells. Shells, I keep calling them shells. They're like scallops or like um, lotus flowers that do like this. Just made this chain and I don't actually know how many chains are in here. I should probably count that. So I've added a single crochet chain, sorry, no, I've added a chain and I'm just single crocheting my way up and down it. And I added a fly. Look at this guy. I connected them with four chains in the middle uh, and I just single crocheted the, like instead of chaining under here, I single crocheted. Um, and so I'm going to do a return pass here. And I've also just, at the end of this row, I decreased twice. Because I want to have like that tapered effect that ribbons sometimes have. So that's what's going on here. And I'm kind of in love with this orange color that's popping through orangey yellow. Oh, other thing. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook uh, just for this entire band part. You don't need as much coverage as you do for the cup, so I was like, well, might as well save time and like tension effort. So yeah. <laughs> Just gotten around to finishing the straps for the back and this is what that looks like i was kind of just going until i liked it and so i got about an inch on the band and this is what the end looks like blocking it i think will give it a, a bit of a straighter straighter edge like that but i think it's coming along nicely and so now I'm just going to add um, the shell detailing. I've attached the yarn on this side right here, and I'm going to just start doing some lotus flower stitches. Now, the problem that I'm kind of thinking I may encounter is that this stitch requires a multiple of six. That means that I might end up kind of 
ending it weird on the other side, but I think I'll be able to figure it out. And I've actually switched back to the three millimeter hook. That's what that looks like. I think that's gonna be really cute. So I'm just gonna watch some Gilmore Girls and get that edging done and I'll see you in just a second. Oh my God, look at how cute this is. Let me try to find you a better angle here. Like, wow. Okay, I could have done a better job tying that, but I'm thinking I might need to add slip stitches on the bottom because as you can see here, it's like tight up here, but it's loose here. So I think I'll, I'll add that. Oh my goodness, should I try it on without my top to show you what it could look like? I don't know how I want to do the, the like halter yet, but let me see. Okay, this isn't that much better, but it kind of gives you an idea of what the straps location will look like. I have to hold this like this because um, issues, but uh, it's a little too wide. So I'm going to remove this band. I'm gonna just literally put one chain in between. Taking this apart, and to take that apart, I'm gonna have to take off uh, this, these shells or these shells, cause I like went over the bridge here. So yeah, a little bit of a setback, but I absolutely love how the shells turned out. And this color just looks so amazing, especially with these pants, I actually find like, Oh, and the back, it's really tight on me. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking of doing a foundation chain instead so that it's not so tight at the top and then loose at the bottom. I want it to be more like even, I guess, which is why I do a foundation uh, single crochet row ever. And then the remaining parts of the straps are gonna stay the same. The cups are gonna stay the same. Yeah. All right, time to get started. Woo! Are you even ready? I think this is going to be my new favorite bikini. Look at the detailing. I think I'm gonna do a part two where I do the bikini bottom to match uh, with the leftover yarn I have, because I still have quite a bit of it, as you can see. And that is definitely gonna be enough for a bikini bottom. I want one to match, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the process, let me know and I will make more videos like this and let me know what you want me to design next because I am on a roll right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, uh, subscribe, like if you like this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!